something challenging that didn't go the way that you planned. What do you do? What do you do? Um, I feel like when you have a business or just in life in general, things always happen that are unexpected. So you kind of like have to roll with the punches. And honestly, even if you deal with something that you don't expect to happen, you can always ask for help. Whether you ask someone in your family or your friends or someone in, in business that has a similar business or like at an event like this, there's always help somewhere or on Google or YouTube. So there's definitely unexpected things are bound to happen, but it's be the, the more important thing is how you deal with it. Minor setback for a major comeback. Things are happening for you, not to you. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm gonna cry. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm going to cry. Um, but I'm gonna give myself some time, you know, about three, four minutes to cry, and then I'm gonna pick myself back up and brainstorm on what I need to do next. So always give yourself some time. Don't think you have to just bottle up your, your emotions and then just keep on pushing through. Let that out and then move on. What has been a highlight for you or an automated moment um, in your career? Um, I'll definitely speak on a highlight of mine. I don't have an I made it moment yet because I don't feel like I made it yet, but that's, you know, self. But um, my highlight of my career thus far was being on the Food Network. I competed in the Summer Video Championship. That was really amazing. Really, really, really cool to see myself competing amongst great pastry chefs uh, along the U.S. and being able to be a semi-finalist, getting to the top four. I didn't win, but I got up there. Um, was a really, really highlight of my career. Nice. Um, I agree as, as far as not having, specifically having a I made it moment, per se, but I feel like moments like these are like great highlights when you made an impact to be able to be recognized and then talk to kids and adults and different people and like hopefully someone whether the kid or an adult takes something from this this gathering and like that that in itself is a highlight and impact and a I made it moment I feel like. <laughs> so none of us have a highlight or a I made it moment because I feel like correct me if I'm wrong but I feel like it's a mindset right so you make your goals you uh, you set your goals and you make them and you made it. So I, I, I don't know about you guys, but as a business owner, I feel like we are never satisfied. We always want to keep going and set goals and, and keep it going. Um, so I, don't, I think we make it when we wake up every day and, and, and keep, keep it going. So I think that's it. Um, so but a, a couple of highlights I can name is like when my clients tell me how, um, how they enjoy uh, the, the staff, how they make them comfortable, how they... Um, they're just happy and healthy and safe at home. They don't have to worry about, um, they're just, they're like family members taking care of them. So I really love when I get feedback um, from families saying that, you know, we're doing a great job. And from um, my staff, I have a lot of my staff that come and say, hey, before, you know, before I worked here, I wasn't able to do a lot of the things I'm doing now. You know, I have employees buying houses, getting new cars, uh, they're able to, you know, take their children on vacations and just do different things that they weren't able to do before. So that really, again, I like helping people. So that is the highlight for me. Uh, what is a piece of advice or maybe something that you wish you knew or that you would tell your younger self when you were starting your business? I wish I knew it was going to take this long. You know what I mean? Like, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Um, but like I said before, patience and just pushing through is definitely ideal when you want to be an entrepreneur. It doesn't come fast. They say you make your first money or like money starts to come back to your business after five years after you start your business. And I just hit my five year mark. Um, so yeah, it's pushing through, perseverance, dreaming. If you're a dreamer, follow your dreams. 
because they definitely will happen. <laughs> I keep doing the same thing. <laughs> um, to piggyback on what she just said, it it's very true that it doesn't take it takes a long time to to achieve your dreams and achieve a business and uh, become an entrepreneur and whatnot. So all the kids that are here, if you have a passion that you want to pursue, you can do it now, whether it be dancing or cooking or singing or art or makeup, whatever it is, you can start now. And by the time you're 18 or 16 or 20, you could be starting your business and like on your way to having a successful business. Like I said, you have to put the work in and finish school. Stay in school. Pay attention <laughs> in school. You're going to need everything that you're learning now. You're going to need it um, if you want to be a successful um, business owner. Um, stay in school. Please stay in school. And um, as early as, like, like Jelani said, do it now. You're young. Do it now so you can be in your 20s and like hanging out with your friends on vacation and you don't have to go into work every day. You can make your own schedule, go to work when you want to, and that's really the goal, right? I can leave now and go on vacation and work on the beach if I want to. Don't you? What did you guys want that? Must be nice. Right? So, you gotta work hard, yeah? So let's give a round of applause for these great entrepreneurs that share their